Moving on, in less than 10 weeks, Japan is expected to host one of the biggest sporting events of the year, the Summer Olympics, amid a global pandemic. But the COVID-19 situation in the country is getting worse. The deaths are rising by the day and the healthcare system is reeling under pressure. In fact, according to a recent poll conducted, more than 80% of the Japanese are opposing hosting the Olympics altogether this year. The weekend survey by the Asahi Shimbun Daily found that 43% of respondents want the Games cancelled and 40% want a further postponement. The latest survey comes after Japan expanded the COVID-19 state of emergency on Friday as the country continues to battle a fourth wave of infections. The sudden surge in COVID infections has pushed the country's healthcare system to the brink. Medical professionals have repeatedly warned of shortages and burnouts. Japan is struggling to catch up with other developed economies in protecting its population against the infection. While it has almost finished giving at least one jab to more than 4 million frontline medical workers, the vaccine rollout for older people and other at-risk groups is only just picking up speed. About 3% of the population of 126 million has been inoculated so far. There are reports of problems with the vaccination booking system. Queue jumping by local politicians and businessmen, as well as millions of doses sitting in industrial freezers with no takers. While the government remains adamant that the Olympics will proceed as planned, it has pledged to take further antivirus measures to make sure that the games are safe. Japan's doctors and nurses have emerged as outspoken opponents of the Tokyo 2021 Games, claiming that the event risks spreading the virus and will divert medical resources that are desperately needed elsewhere. Japan faces the challenge of holding the Olympics this summer from July 23rd, welcoming athletes from around the world without causing new outbreaks. In fact, the attempt to hold the Games in a pandemic is a test of how much normalcy is possible and how safe it may be. Our correspondent Phoebe Amoroso has sent us this report from Tokyo. Take a look. That's a question that many people are asking and certainly there have been a huge number of protests, not just the polls but the government has also seen a signature of, from, sorry, a petition of 350,000 signatures calling for the games to be cancelled. But it's quite a complicated issue and there are many stakeholders involved. There's the IOC, the Japanese Olympic Committee, the Tokyo organisers, the Japanese government and all of these um, will have a say in the discussion. People have been looking at the contract between the IOC and the Tokyo organizers and there is apparently one, uh, cont one clause within that that specifies cancellation and that's a decision for the IOC to make. So it's unclear what would happen if Japan were to pull the plug on the games now. It's likely that the local organizers would bear a huge amount of the costs and uh, whether they'd be covered for insurance or that remains unclear. Suddenly, um, one of the, well, one legal expert has said that the most viable way would be for the IOC and Japan to jointly announce uh, cancellation in order to split the insurance costs. But the IOC uh, gets a lot of its funding from broadcasting rights and sponsorship, so it's going to want to push forward for financial reasons. Here in Japan, there are also political re um, reasons as well. It's uh, the Beijing Winter Olympics in 2022. China is a regional rival, so Japan would not want to be uh, losing face uh, to China. And um, there is also um, concerns that it's already been postponed one year. How much further can this be pushed down the line? That's what uh, people are also asking. The games more broadly are being seen uh, suddenly from th those um, in the organizing committee as a symbol of a revival and would be portrayed as a symbol of hope after some very tough times. So there are some complicated issues at play here. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.